Hello, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the Green Bandit speaking to you. So, I had a little problem with my Prospero X 1.5 and ended up not being able to mine at all. So, after having tried many different methods, trying to fix it, going into various, editing various parameters and such, I uh, decided that the best way to fix the problem was probably to do a full reset. And this video is basically just to explain how to do so correctly without losing too much time. Now, I hope that this video will be useful and make things a lot easier for you, and especially a lot faster. So first things first, you're going to have to go out and buy a micro SD card if you do not have one already. Making sure that you don't get the SDXC. You need to get the SDHC that you get here on the right. Just look at the little print on the card and notice that it says SDHC on the card. So let's remove this one here because if you do get the one on the, that was on the left, <coughs> it will cause the program that you're going to run in the later stages of this video to crash. So now that you have your card, plug it into your computer and click on the link in the video. This link is going to start a download of a file, a zip file, containing various programs you're going to need to run in order to create a disk image, and which you're going to load on the card using one of the programs in the file. Once you've downloaded the file, decompress it, open it, then look at what's inside. You're going to find a readme file, which you should probably read if it says readme, and uh, various programs. Now press the link on the video, and this one is to download the image that you're going to mount onto your SDHC card. You want to decompress this image because it will come in a compressed format, and this is the one you're going to load onto your card using the Rockchip Create Upgrade Disk Tool version 1.4, which I will show you how to use in a second. And by the way, for those of you who don't know how to decompress a zipped file, you can download a program called WinZip and just press Extract All whenever, when you've loaded the file into that program, and it will decompress that file for you. Now, moving on, we will uh, now need to right-click on the run underscore four underscore ver one point xx underscore loader and run as admin. Once that is done, you want to right click on sd underscore firmware underscore tool and run as admin as well. Now that will open a little program called Rockchip Create Upgrade Disk Tool version 1.4. So the first thing you're going to have to do is choose your removable disk. If that is the only removable disk in your computer, it's probably already going to be selected. Then you want to check the upgrade firmware box and then choose your firmware. That will be the second file you downloaded using the link on the video and you're going to want to choose the, the file, whatever it is in front, .img, so that's the image that you're going to mount onto the bootable SDHC chip that you are creating. Finally, you will click, you should click on the create button, and this create button will uh, create the disk for you, so you won't have to do anything else after that. Alright, so now you've created your micro SD bootable disk image. So go over to your Prospero X1 or X1.5 and unplug it. Wait until it's fully turned off. Then insert your micro SD card into the front of your um, Prospero X1. That should be situated right under the LCD screen in case uh, you didn't know where the uh, micro SD should go. and then plug it back in and the, the Prospero Miner actually will just boot from your uh, micro SD card 
and it will install the new updated version of the firmware. It will do all the necessary whatever it does and you will end up with a freshly updated brand new Prospero X1 like it came from the factory. So I hope this helped you uh, fix your problem with your Prospero X1 and if you need to fix any other problems uh, this should definitely do the trick whatever you might have done. Uh, of course this will not fix your hardware errors. So I hope this video helped you fix your Prospero X1.5. Happy mining and hope to see you soon again. Well, of course, not too soon with your Prospero X1 problems, but for the next video. Bye.